We're still discussing the number one trending topic in GH right about now. The rape case involving our former morning ride presenter, Tony Menka, and the lady who was supposed to have been the daughter-in-law of Mr. Raymond Mensa, the special advisor to the president. What we are hearing is the wedding has been called off. My name is Doris Ansa. Tony and I have a child together, a girl, Princess Menka. I know I was supposed to speak up a long time ago. Maybe I could have saved that poor girl. But it's time for Ghanaians to know the kind of person Tony is. Tony is an irresponsible father. Hmm. Tony cannot be trusted. When Tony greets you good morning, you have to look outside to respond. I have no doubt he did it. Can you see that place at Prom Prom? Hmm. He took me there. Really? Yes. See, that place is like his slaughterhouse. That's where he take all his girls. Well, the property belongs to his uncle in the U.S. He takes you on a tour around the place, put his chest out that it's part of his properties, but it's all part of his trick. Are you suggesting he also tried to rape you or attempted to rape you? I'm <laughs> still not sure which is which. Well, I wouldn't say rape, but he lured me there. I don't know if I snuck up with you. Listen, I was trying to give you an opportunity here. You know, change things. It doesn't matter the numbers. I mean, that's how you're well trained in radio. I'll be to me as a normal. That's what I told me. And he, I mean, let's go inside. Yes, but all you have is a building. There's nothing there. So that I'll provide them and then we'll make things work. Sir. I am not just a manager. I am a partner in this job. <laughs> But they give them our body pressure. Just hey. shut up and listen to me. Henceforth, things are going to change around here. You're not going to bring all those pastors here to come and preach all those things. Do you understand me? All those jingles that you play, stop it. Anything that has to go on air has to seek approval for myself. You are just a caretaker here. This is a full-time job. Do you understand me? You start work at 8.30 and you close at 5, and you better dress well. <laughs> You are only standing here because your uncle pleaded on your behalf. If for nothing at all, I would have fired you a long time ago. See this John boy. Hey. See what did they talk? Come off for there. What did they talk? All the information I take give you, I still didn't make my uncle they took you guy. Boy, you know how they run things for here? If them pastors now you say make them not come here. If my money should I take run things for here small small. You go for your bread console. Hey, you get money for jingle. And I'm gonna say you get sense. I don't say you fool like that, eh? Hey. See this John boy, they can't... Eh, hey. you for respect yourself. Hear that? Where do you think they are going? They are using you. Guess you know all about that. Look, have you for once thought about Princess? And what all this is doing for Princess? <sighs> oh, I'm so touched. What a caring father. Tell me, when was the last time you even saw her? Hmm? What have you done for her lately? Huh. Do you even buy the clothes that she wears? The last time I gave you money, you threw it back at my face, remember? <laughs> 2,000 Ghana cities. What am I supposed to do with 2,000 Ghana cities, huh? Her same fees alone cost 6,000. What is wrong with you? So this was about, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, how much did they pay you? 7,000. And I've gotten other offers. <laughs> and they are very attractive. You need to stop. Can you match up that offer? Can you? Those who are doing that now, it's going to dry up. And when it dries up, it's going to live with our daughter. Our daughter will be the only one remaining. Guess who is talking? <laughs>